Hi Aquarius, this is your May 2018 tarot reading in general. So we are going to look at areas of money, career, um, how people are going to affect your month in a positive and in a negative way. What is the spiritual practice that you should be doing in order to ensure the best May ever? And then look at your power crystal of the month as well. I know these are late. I'm sorry. I was sick. Um, but I hope you love it and love readings will also be posted here on YouTube as well. Let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, Aquarius, your general theme for the month of May is enlightenment, okay? This is like about a grounding, this is like a grounding energy. Like you got to go outside. You're going to learn something from that, okay? Now, um, if you are a meditator, this will be a very powerful meditation month for you. And so um, it's about like the practice that you're actually putting into things. Like what does the Buddhist guy say before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water, after enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. It's like, this is something that we need to continually do. Like you might have these really massive, awesome um, moments of like awakening, like your intuition is so strong and you're like, yes, I'm living my best life. And then like a week later, you're like, what the fuck? Like, I just like got here. Like what's happening? And they're like, because it's a practice that you have to continually do. And so grounding yourself is going to be really important. Like if you live in North America, this is awesome because the weather is getting nicer now. And so um, it's a really good time to like go be outside and kind of like be present like with what it is that you're doing and continuing along your spiritual path. If you're not really into spirituality and you're just kind of wondering how your month is going to go, now we're going to look at that. <laughs> okay, so what's up in regards to your money? And they're saying like fulfillment of wishes are coming for you. How awesome is that? Like, and this is probably going to come through your career and not through luck because it is a number nine. Okay. Nines are about wishes. Like this is the equivalent to the wish card, but I want you to notice how, um, there's a waterfall and green in both of these cards. So this is about the heart chakra being related to green, but the waterfall is like a spiritual cleansing, okay? So the practices that you're doing are helping you to manifest all of these things that you desire. Now, um, the other thing here, whoops, 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 and I'm screwing up my cards here. Okay. Now, the other thing here in regards to your money, um, it's saying like, you know what? Balance hasn't always necessarily been there or you haven't always felt it, okay? Like you haven't felt like you were on the right path necessarily, but Spirit's throwing you a bone here because you've been doing the work, you've been trying to manifest the things that you desire. So what they're saying is this transformation isn't huge and it's not necessarily overnight, but you're going to start to see that things are going to start coming through for you in the area of money. If your heart chakra is blocked, you can expect that that will not happen for you though. And this is why this is so important. Like just because you have like a really good practice going for example gratitude journaling your gratitude journaling every every morning and you know initially it was working for you and you're attracting all of these things that you want especially if you're gratitude journaling for things that you want in advance but now it's not working and you don't know why it's because you're not putting the heart into it anymore because when you first started doing it you were feeling this like excitement and this joy and you're like I am so thankful for blah 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 and now you're like, okay, I'm thankful for oxygen. I'm thankful I got up on time. I'm thankful that my computer works. I'm thankful for internet. And and so it's like that joy isn't there anymore. So you're kind of just going through the motions and it's not the same. And so we've got to kind of try to remember to come back to the things that were very touching emotionally for us that made our heart chakra open up wide and then kind of reinsert ourselves into that energy so that we get all of these things we want in regards to money because it does look like it's very... Um, favorable for those things to start flowing to you uh, in the month of May and maybe into June. So what's going on with your career? 
And they're saying um, some of you might be losing your jobs or just deciding it's not for you anymore this month. And that's totally normal. They're saying like some of you have just been like keeping your mouth closed about how much you hate it. And you're sitting here on the edge, like thinking about your career and like, do I want to go through this another year, another six months? Like, what is the answer here? And so you're coming out of this place of like silently suffering and starting to talk about it. So what they're saying is you can be excited that other people, including like, your spirit team, if you're not talking to other people about this, are working on helping you to come into like a area or a time period of celebration and joy. So, you know, for example, if you get fired, don't frame this as a bad thing, frame this as a positive thing, because now you can go do what you actually want to do that maybe you didn't have the courage or the enthusiasm to go out and seek and find previously. If you are just like in this place where you're like, it's time for a change, you can kind of come into this like loving, embracing energy that the universe is supporting you with when they're like purifying your aura and all of this stuff. And they're saying, I don't know if you guys could see that little angel orb right there, but so this is important for somebody. They're like cleansing you and they're saying, you know what? Okay, now let's get rid of all of this negativity and let's create ourselves a new path, something like more filled with joy and hope and love that we like to do because the universe, your angels, your spirit guides, your friends, they're going to support you in this, okay? So this is a very powerful month if you wanted to start a new business, for example. So how are other people going to help you in May? And it says, you know what? These people are going to help you to remember to be patient, that your um, new ideas are going to take some time to become stable, to grow, especially if you're starting a new business, that there will be little hiccups along the way, but they will also be offering you support and guidance along the way, and they will help you to grow whatever it is you're trying to grow. So even if you're not trying to start a new business, like, and they're not like sharing your um, business page on Facebook and stuff like that, this could be like, hey, I really know that you wanted to get into this field. I know somebody in this field. I just let them know that you are looking to, you know, kind of for an uh, entry level position here. And so then maybe as a result, because they had helped you, like you sit back, you wait, you're patient because, patient because you spoke to your friend what it was that you wanted to do. You put it out there into the universe. Now you just sit back and you wait and then it kind of grows into something beautiful. Okay, now how will people potentially screw up your month for you? And it says, honestly, um, don't overextend yourself and give to people who wouldn't do the same for you, okay? Um, it's just not something that you have the capacity to, to bear or deal with this month. They're saying, like, partnerships and alliances need to be true partnerships and alliances. And spirit, with a number three again here, is going to put people into your path that are for your highest good, for your benefit, I'm trying to remember who else had this. It might have been cancer. So um, pay attention to signs and omens. Know that nothing is a coincidence. Like, hey, it's so interesting that I was just saying I needed a graphic designer. What are the chances I would just meet you today by chance at a coffee shop and start a conversation? There is no chance. That was for a reason, okay? So pay attention to signs and omens because um, these things will become of massive benefit for you. Now, what kind of spiritual practice should you focus on, aside from potentially grounding with that energy, um, in order to have the best May possible? And they're saying you really need to shield your own energy. So if you're not sure how to shield your energy, um, basically we're going to use this waterfall type of um, imagery to cleanse our energy from our crown chakra down to our root chakra, okay? So we're going to get rid of anything negative. You can do this with like a deep breath, like a, okay, I'm like imagining this water coming through me, pushing it out of my root chakra into the ground, filling me up with this white light sparkle waterfall energy. And then now that I've done that, I'm going to encircle myself in a big protective bubble of energy um, that will help me to not be affected by the energies of other people, especially if they're negative. Now, what color should you be shielding with this month? Let's find out. Um, so not with orange, but with brown, which is kind of a funny one, right? Like with chocolate. But they're saying this is going to be very helpful for your um, grounding again. It's going to help your soul to feel nourished as well as your body. Okay, so pay attention to where you're walking, to what you're doing, being mindful in the month of May, and you should see many benefits and rewards. Now, it's funny that our color energy is brown, and it's all about grounding and things like that, because your power crystal of the month is um, 
called Desert Rose, otherwise known as gypsum, okay? Now it comes in brown and it also comes in like a white and brown. So um, really, is there going to be much of a difference? I think it's just more personal preference as to what you think is aesthetically pleasing, okay? Now this is fragile, so it's not one you wanna put in your pocket. It's also one you don't wanna get wet. Um, but if you purchase this from me, you'll get like a whole lesson series on how to use crystals to their maximum benefit and then how to care for them. So. What does it do if you want to just go get your own anywhere or whatever? Um, it increases happiness, feelings of well-being, um, personal value. Like it helps you to remember your own uniqueness. So if you are kind of walking on a new career journey, this is going to be very important because it will help you with your interview process or, you know, in also creating and following through with your new business plans. It helps um, bring about more wisdom. It helps you to be like a really free thinker. It will also help you to... Um, like with your with your back, which is interesting because we talked all about ground mint, re, grounding, right, and alignment. So it helps like align the spine and helps your muscles to feel a little bit more flexible. So if you're having back pain, this is a great one. It calms your emotions. Um, it gives you more positivity, success, willpower, encouragement. It does attract abundance. So this is a really exciting stone for you in that regard. It does a ton of shit. Helps you get um, like attain goals and things like that. So if you want to know more about it, you can click at the link below. And um, that's your May and love you tons. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!